Hey, in this video, we are going to convert our machine learning model into an API, which means that you can uh, send a request to your model, which is stored somewhere on the server and is going to respond with the request or with the predictions. So that's the main idea we are going to do in this video. Plus, we are going to deploy it on Heroku so that you can access it from any part of the globe and as far as you are connected to the internet obviously so let's start the video so uh, obviously let's just first come to pre-requirements prerequisites you need to have is heroku command line interface installed and have a account on it if you want to follow along with this video another thing you need to have is git command line interface installed so once you have all of this let you are good to go so this is going to be our working directory and first file you need to have is app.py another file you need to have is requirements.txt make sure you spell them as it is otherwise it's going to give you errors a lot of errors so another file you need to have proc file make sure it has no extensions and p is capital uh, actually that's all for now now obviously we need to have our model with which you are going to work so let me just quickly open it all right so this is going to be our students model which is going to predict the final grade based on number of failures uh, grade 2 and grade 1 so let's just quickly run this to save the model in case you want to understand how this model works and how to create this model using linear regression I will link that video in that i button and you can just check it out from there. So uh, you see that we have saved our model by using pickle so we have to load the model by using pickle. So let's just get out of this spider of, of this terminal and the model is saved over here by the name of model.pkl. Alright so that's all. Now let's just open all of these files in the sublime text editor. Okay so you can use whatever you want. Alright so here we have app.py, proc file and requirement.txt. Let's first talk about app.py. Alright so we are going to use flask module so obviously you need to have pip install flask installed so your first thing you need to have is import some modules first class we need is flask class then we need request I'm going to explain you when I'm going to use it but for now just understand we need to import it last thing we need is jsonify that's all for now obviously we need pickle to import our model so let's just first start by importing our model it's very easy so you just have to say pickle dot load and now you need to open the file which is you know it is model dot pkl and we are going to say read binary so this is how you can load the model now we will instantiate our flask class which we have imported over here just have to say flask and in it you need to pass is underscore underscore name now we are going to run this app when underscore underscore name equals to underscore underscore main all right so you just have to say app dot run and we'll set debug equals to true in case we get an error it will going to show us which line is giving what error all right so uh, this is the basic code now we are going to to define the route so we are only going to have a uh, one route which is which will be called a uh, predict route so we'll say app dot route okay you know what let's just set it index route nothing no name given to it so we'll say define index and in this let me just first talk about it okay so you know what let's just first return anything okay in case to see that everything is working fine let's just print over here that model is loaded let's open for running this app.py you just have to open the terminal in the same directory and you have to say python app.py that's all now you get a link just hold your control key and click on this link it will take you to the browser uh this is hey so which means that everything is working fine if i make some changes over here here to hello and i run this once again so you see it over here now one thing i want to talk about this is called our index route meaning nothing is over here so this is our index now if i want to pass the values so what you have to do is to give the name of okay first of all you have to give question mark and then name of the variable of or key you need to pass so let's say I want to say fail equals to zero and in case I want to give some other uh, values so I just have to say and which is and sign on the keyboard you just have to say another variable name which is g1 equals to 5 and you just have to give one more and you just have to say g2 equals to 2 so in this way you can pass the values so obviously if I run it nothing is going to happen and this method uh, we are using passing the values in the URL is called uh, get method so you have to pass this method in this route so you just have to say methods equals to get that's all now for accessing the values from that URL you just have to use this uh, request which we have already imported let's just call uh, fail equals to request dot args and in this you have to pass in the key which is a uh, fail over here make sure the key should be same over here in case you rename this key 
to fail to let's say fails like this then you have to rename it over here also now let's give another uh, g1 equals to let's just copy it so now another key is g1 and last key is g2 let's change the name of the variables also let's just convert them to int i think it has the value in the string so we have to convert it to int we'll just go in the safe side okay so now we have our fail g1 and g2 and now what i'll do i'll just uh, print these values so let's just print them in case to see everything is working fine or not so we'll say g1 and g2 that's all let's run this app oh, it is already running so now i'll uh, hit f5 to rerun it okay so we got an error oh yeah so you see that we got a key error which is fails but uh, in this url we are passing fail so in over here you either you have to say fails or in the code you have to change it to fail so let's hit enter so you see over here hello let's go back to terminal to see the values so the values are 0 5 and 2 and same over here same from here if i change grade to let's say 7 i i hit run we got the values as 0 5 and 7 so that's that was the main idea how to do that now we will uh, make the prediction just by using these values it is very easy just to so we'll say prediction equals to model dot predict and in this you have to pass an array so for creating array we need numpy numpy as np that's all so we'll say np dot array over here pass in the list of values and reshape it to a 2d since it's a vector but our model expects to have a 2d array so it is one comma minus one since it is only one sample and minus one meaning it has three features which is one two and three that's all so let's try printing the predict instead of printing let's just pass this time over here so you have to convert it to string let's run this once again so this is the output from our model let's try changing the values to see if it is working okay so the values are changing so this is our model and actually that's all how you can create the api the last thing you need to have is to convert this to a json json object so instead of string we are going to return jsonify and now over here you have to give the key and the value so this is going to be the key with which well a key you need to access this particular prediction so let's uh, save this and run this once again you see it's like a dictionary so that is how you can create your api but now uh, you see that it is running locally on to our local host let's deploy it to heroku now before deploying you need to make some changes in requirements.txt and proc file so let's first talk about requirements so requirements.txt going to take all the libraries you are using in the app and you have to pass the name of the uh, libraries you are using so first library we are using numpy and flask and sklearn and unicorn you have to pass this uh, unicorn every time let's save this uh why i'm saying sklearn uh, because we are using model built using sklearn which is this model and i guess pickle comes pre-installed in python i guess so we don't need to give uh pickle over here now last thing in proc file you need to give this okay so for web it is unicorn and for app it is app which is uh this app over here so once you do all of this you are good to deploy it on heroku so let's just open the let's get rid of this uh process let's clear terminal so you have to open a terminal in the same directory as i have done now you have to initialize a blank repository by saying git init okay now you have to add all the files so for that you have to say git add all asterisk now you have to commit all the files so now let's give a message let's say 01 so you have to say git commit and the slash m message is 01 to keep the track so we have uh committed all the changes now every file is uh situated on git all right so since now we have committed all the changes now you have to create your app and make sure the name of the app should be unique so for creating the app you should need to you need to say heroku create and then the name of your app let's say if i just pass this cat dog and i'm pretty sure this cat dog should be already taken so you see that name cat dog is already taken now you need to um, give this unique name let's say api by so if i run this okay so our app is now created hold the control key click on this link you will just be taken to this uh your brand new app if you run this obviously we haven't done anything in this app so this will be just a um, default code for that and now we are going to just upload our all the code which we have uh, saved in the gate we have to upload all the code in the heroku so for that you have to say heroku push or uh, not heroku push you have to say git push heroku master okay so looks like everything is done without any errors so let's click hold control key and click on this um 
probably we should wait all right so now i think now it's good to go let's just rerun this and it says bad request uh first let's try just copying this variables name and paste it over here let's run so okay so you see that it is running on heroku and you can just access it from any corner of the world i will just leave this in case you want to experiment with it um so you see that it is now running if i just make some changes over here let's say 15 so the code uh the predictions are changing in real time when you change the values so if i change grade 1 to let's say 15 okay so the grade 3 is 15 so you see that it is working and if you get any errors while deploying or you are seeing uh you are seeing the error called app dot crash you can just uh coming in over here onto the website of heroku just log in with it let me just go back to show you everything so once you log in you will be taken uh, to pay something like this and uh, you have to select the name of the uh, your app click on this and you can come in over here more and view log so you if you get error something like app dot crashed you can just uh, try to debug this all code it will going to give you a lot of information why the error is occurred but still if it is occurring you can just let me know in the comment section i will try to help you so that's all for this video if you have any queries regarding this or the code is not running you can ask in down comment section or the links for contacting me in will be in this description so that's all for this video bye